Hey everyone, this is Darren with Crazy Minnow Studio, and in this video, I am going to be covering the new UMA One Click version 2.5.1. And you can see I have this running. This uh, this update is going to be required for UMA version 2.11, and uh, that's their new version as of this video. And uh, that's the main reason we had to update. So let me go ahead and stop this. And uh, let's stop this. And right here, right off the bat, this is the biggest change uh, that required our uh, one click to be updated. And it's an in editor preview of the avatar. So they've done some things under the hood to uh, make Uma a lot more approachable in my opinion. And on that note, my opinion really doesn't matter that much. I am not an Uma expert by any stretch of the imagination. Everything that you see in this demonstration is just me figuring out kind of how to do this and it seems a lot simpler to me than it used to be, a lot more approachable with this in editor preview. Uh, let's get started. First off, uh, if I didn't mention it, we've got version 2.11.5 installed here of the UMA product, and we're gonna start from scratch. We're gonna delete all that. Okay, so previously this was a little more involved, not too much, but a little bit more involved. I'm gonna create an empty and I'll rename it to avatar, UMA avatar. And uh, now we need to add a component, and that is going to be this dynamic character avatar script. This is an UMA script, okay? And so as soon as I do that, we don't see anything that happens. Previously, we started off by adding the UMA DCS prefab. You can see that this is now being deprecated. It's being replaced by the UMA glib prefab, and these are nearly identical from what I can tell. The glib actually is just using a 4K Atlas resolution instead of 2K, and they are also enabling convert mitmaps. Uh, but we don't need either one of those. We've got our UMA avatar, and you notice when I click on it, it creates this UMA editor context object. And that basically is, from what I can tell, the same thing as what this prefab is doing. So we don't need that. In fact, if I add the prefab, so we pre-populate the UMA editor context into the scene, if I click on this and then I click something else, it goes away. So eventually goes away. I don't know. It took it a couple of times there, but, uh, and then now it dynamically adds it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this configured. Dynamic character avatar. We just need to change our race. We could do human female. Oh, let's go ahead and reset this position and go ahead and rotate it. All right. And uh, we can do human female, we can do elf female, we can do girl, see she's way down there, we can do male, uh, actually it's elf male, let me adjust my camera here, uh, we can just do the regular male, high poly, so all of these are previewable now, I'm going to work human female, and let me put my camera back down, and I am going to add a little bit of wardrobe to her to make her a little bit more appealing and uh, less revealing. Again, not an Uma expert. This was the easiest way I found to do this. Put some hair. Now, I did notice that once you add a recipe here, you need to click off of it and back on. The inspector kind of gets uh, messed up there. So let me go ahead and put some clothes on her. She has some clothes. We can see her in the scene view and we are almost ready. We need to do one more thing and that is add an animator because if we don't have an animator on, if we try to run, we don't get anything in the scene. So let's go ahead and add, this is an UMA default animator. It's included in the product. It's under UMA content example animators. Okay, now we can see when we run our scene, we have our character and she is animating. We also see that the dynamic character avatar added an animator and this UMA data script here. Our one click did not add these. Uh, these were added once we did the dynamic character avatar, selected our race and added our default locomotion, then we get all of this stuff, okay? So make sure you have the object that is going to get Salsa's one click selected. And let's go to game object, Crazy Mental Studio, Salsa Lip Sync, one clicks. If you don't have these one clicks, this is my development environment. If you don't have these one clicks, you can click this button 
and it will take you to this page so that you can go and download all of the add-ons and one clicks available for Salsa Lip Sync Suite. Let's apply that. Game object, crazy no studio, Salsa Lip Sync, one clicks. We are going to apply the UMA DCS one click, and this is version 2.5.1. You need 2.5.1 to work with this new UMA 2.11 version, okay? As I applied the one click, we see a bunch of other things that are applied in here. And most of this is all the same stuff that you get with any of the one clicks, except that there are two additional scripts added on an UMA character, all right? And one is this UMA UEP proxy. This is part of Salsa Core. It's basically the middleware to the UMA product. And, uh, and then it also gets this UEP driver. And this is the active piece in the UMA one-click system. And we'll be going over to the driver in a little bit more detail here shortly, okay? So now we can see that uh, if we go ahead and run this. Salsa, simple automated. We get the default one-click setup, which includes my lovely like promo Salsa voice, okay? The first thing we're going to do is change that. We'll go to my wife's lovely promo voice and we're going to change this and reduce the volume so that we can work with it here real quick. Uh, now, the other thing that is new for this UMA 2.5.1 update is it now includes a silence analyzer. I am going to set this to the new default values for silence analyzer. Let's go ahead and play. Salsa. And now we see that we've got the appropriate audio for this model. Technology behind Salsa. Okay, but what is the real update here for 2.5.1? And that is to address the new in editor preview because previously we were spawning a preview prefab. That was the, the method we used in uh, earlier versions of UMA one click so that we could give you some sort of avatar. We had a male and a female to preview Salsa's Visium configuration and uh, motor configuration, okay? We don't need that anymore. We've got the in editor preview to work with and that's why we updated. The two didn't work together. Uh, well, I mean, it, it did work, but it spawned a preview prefab in, on top of this actual avatar preview that was just a generic representation so it looked a it looked a bit mad. it looked broken it really wasn't broken it just didn't it was conflicting so now we can go ahead and we can view previews of our configurations now before you do this this is different in uma it's different from our other one clicks you have to have the uep driver components inspector expanded here and uh, the reason is because it is an editor driven script for preview so this one has to be open this is the one that's actually driving the preview now if we select any of these to preview them then we see that that all works and we do have a live representation of updating so let's go ahead in here first let's enable the preview and then we've got let's see what is this mouth pucker uh, let's go ahead and so we can adjust this okay and we can see it live now one thing you'll notice is uh, i've changed this now if i'm going to undo this with Control z and it doesn't respond to that uh, undo command what we can do is just disable and enable it and then we'll see the changes and if you don't have this enabled then if we come in here and we see the model won't respond this has to be expanded and then it all works as normal just make sure your driver is expanded so that you can do the previews. If your preview isn't working, check first that your driver is expanded. All right, and then this also works for a motor. Everything should be good in here. So we can run through. See, I don't have it expanded, right? Uh, we can come here run through the expressions and you can go in and actually edit these just like you can let's do this one brow up down okay now everything's configured and everything works oh one more thing when we do a preview let's go back to this mode here when we do a preview 
uh, you'll notice as I do this that we get some extra scripts here. These are dynamically spawned in and they are required for the preview. Our one click does use the UMA expression player. You can set it up manually if you want to, to use the underlying bones, but uh, that is a process. And so that's why we have decided to use the UMA expression player. So it is required. Now, when I undo or when I turn off this preview, those both go away and our model Salsa. works. Single okay. So these are the default settings. You can also come in here. If you watched the two previous videos I just put out, you can also tweak the tuning of this. And uh, so we, we might want to give it a little bit more smoothness, pull down the nuance, maybe pull it down a little bit more. Results are superior to basic so anyway, everything works as usual, uh, except for that preview that is different now. And that is in response to Uma's update. I think we're going to end the video here. Hopefully that was educational for everybody. And as always, we look forward to seeing what you create. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.